So just when you think that you start to know <laughs> what's happening in your life, universe throws a curveball. But this is one that I am chuffed about. So yesterday, or the day before actually, with one minute to go on the deadline day, I became a Lewis FC player on loan from Bristol. And Lewis is a club that has kind of been in my awareness for quite some time. They are the leaders of the Equality FC campaign, which is oh, so awesome. They pay the female teams and the men's teams the same. There's no disparity between the two. They have the same budgets and yeah, the same training facilities, they play on the same pitch, everything is equal, which is probably a world first in professional and semi-pro football. So, sits pretty well with my values and before I went to Bristol, before I knew that was an option, I was talking to Lewis FC about potentially coming here. So to be here now, it feels like the stars have kind of aligned in a way, if I'm honest. I feel like, yeah, the universe has conspired for me to be here. And yeah, it's ideal really, because the biggest thing for me right now, I think, is game time. I want to be playing as much as possible so that when, or if, when, if, when, I get called up for New Zealand, um, I'm ready to go. I've been playing games and I'm confident and scoring goals and that's when I most come alive, you know. I, I love playing football and as much as I enjoy trainings, it's just not the same. You can't compare to... A competitive game, big open field, and doing what you're good at. It's expressing yourself on the ball. And I only got limited opportunity to do that at Bristol. And it's a shame to leave in a way. Um, I really enjoyed being there. I love so much about the team, the players, the people, especially. But you gotta do what's right for you at the end of the day. and the community here behind Lewis FC, they seem awesome. I think when you have such an ethical club with like such a strong moral conscience, you attract like-minded people and supporters, right? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to get to know the people in the club and do my thing, hopefully contribute to the team. At the moment, so we got our first game tomorrow against London Bees. This is probably going to come out after that, so um, you'd have to check out the results, see how we went. It's the first home game of the season under the new coach, Fran Alonso. Um, he's super passionate. Wait a second. Check out where I am. This is my new backyard. I didn't really pick the right shoes to be walking along here. Right, just gotta watch my feet here. Birds make kissing noises over here. <laughs> Probably cut that bit out. Oh, nice stream. Giant snake. No, just a pipe. But yeah, Coach is super passionate, like you wouldn't believe, and is really eager to help me on my journey and progress as a footballer, and hopefully in turn, I can contribute to the team. Um, currently, they have lost 10 games in a row, so not had great form <laughs> recently. They won the first three games, but been a steady downhill since there, so. I've come in, and a few other girls, um, Sophie Perry from Brighton, and I think there might, oh, I'm not sure actually, deadline's over. 
but yeah, first training last night and it was good. The quality was decent, the intensity was high and you could tell that already they were trying to do the things that Fran is implementing. And uh, yeah, I'm super encouraged by it. I can't wait to get out there tomorrow. I think the atmosphere is gonna be awesome. And uh, I've got a new club, a new place, a new opportunity to to do my thing and I mean I haven't played 90 minutes since November so I'm not sure if I'm gonna play 90 or how much I'm gonna play um, but I rushed from Bristol to get here for training last night so that I could be a part of the team before the game um, so hopefully I'll get to play yeah okay that's it for me. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for the now. And I hope you are too. Um, thank you for watching. Yeah. Peace. Love. So, what attracted you to Lewis FC? Well, predominantly game time. I haven't been getting too much with Bristol and it's a really important year for me in terms of the World Cup coming up. And. Um, yeah, coming here, it's a competitive environment, the league is good, and Lewis needed an attacker, so I'm here and ready to go. Was the equality initiative a pull factor? It was a huge pull factor. I remember when it first came out, and I shared it all over social media because I was so behind it, so I definitely had the club in mind from early on, and to be here now, it's, it's awesome. What do you hope to achieve playing at Lewis? Yeah, I want to I wanna help the team and contribute as much as I can. Hopefully that comes in terms of goals, scoring them, setting them up, and helping the team win as many games as possible towards the end of the season. Well, you've obviously had an impressive career. What's your most memorable football match? Um, it actually came recently with the New Zealand team, where I got my full debut and I managed to score a goal too, which is good. What are your biggest career highlights then? Um, winning the championship in Italy with Juventus was a huge moment. Describe that. Oh, I can't. <laughs> There's no way to describe something like that. It was a long time. It was my first professional contract, and it was a long way from home and a hard season. But to come out on top as a champion of Italy, it's indescribable. That's amazing. So I read in the, I I read that in a game in New Zealand, you were the top goal scorer against the under seventeen boys. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we had a football fans development program where they kind of pulled the best players together in New Zealand to help develop them and give them a better competition and um, we ended up playing in an under 17 boys league and it was super competitive but we managed to beat most of them. I think we ended up fourth in the league and to score some goals that was right before I left New Zealand so put me in good stead to um, come into a professional contract. So how did the boys feel about you being top goal scorer? <laughs> yeah, they probably weren't too excited about it. I think a lot of them probably thought we would be quite an easy beat. You know, they're all they're big, they're physical, they're fast, but you know, we got smart. So <laughs> no, it was good, it was competitive. That's probably about enough. That's for you.